like you need an Oscar for this IUD journey. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. Yes, chilling in my tropical vibes, flamingos on fleek. I will be posting my Bali haul at some point so you guys stay on the lookout for that video. I purchased this flamingo outfit in Bali and literally in love with it. It's so lightweight. I know it's not giving you guys fall vibes but I mean whatever. I'm on a different vibe than most of you guys so okay. <laughs> Anyways so I'm here today to talk to you guys about something. We're about to get personal. I have actually not talked about this a lot on my channel. I talked about it one time so I will link the video in the card section up above for you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys about my IUD or my Paragard journey, my copper IUD. I've actually had it for one year. So that's why I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about my one year journey because this has been on a roller coaster with this thing, okay? And I want to sit down and talk to you guys about pros, cons, why I like it, maybe why I don't like it. We'll see, okay? And if you guys are interested in it or just whatever the case may be. So let's just get straight into it, okay? All right, guys. So the Paragard or the Copper IUD, whatever you want to call it, that is the non-hormonal IUD. Um, if you guys don't know what it is, I will flash a little picture up here so you guys can just see quick glance. So it is a form of contraception and I decided that I wanted to do something different than what I had been using for years. So I had been on birth control pills for a very long time. I actually got on them maybe around like 16 or 17 and I don't know maybe you guys think that's young. I, I really don't know. Frankly I don't care. Um, I got on them because I wasn't sexually active. I got on them for acne believe it or not. I got on them for the hormonal component um, to control acne because I was having severe acne as a teenager. So as I got older I was you know, constantly taking the pill, having to remember to take the pill, missing the pill, just everything that comes with taking birth control pills. So last year I decided, okay, let me see my PCM. And let me talk to her and tell her I want to do something different. I was reaching a place where I was wanting to transition away from the extra added hormones. I wanted to do something different. My acne felt like it was getting a little bit more under control. And I wanted just to have something different where I was not having to always worry about remembering to take this little annoying pill, right? Can I get an amen? So that's when I told her that I was interested in the IUD option. So not only was I interested in the IUD option, I specifically wanted the Paragard or the Copper IUD, whatever you want to call it, names are interchangeable. That's the one that does not have any hormones. So y'all, this is where the story gets interesting. So after doing a lot of research, after talking to her and letting her know, yep, I want to pull the trigger. This is what I want to do. Let's go ahead. Then she put me a referral in for women's health. So I was ready. I was like, yes, let's do it. Let's go. So I went to women's health. I was ready like the day of my appointment. I thought I was getting it then. So come to find out, the first time I went to Women's Health, I had not taken the pregnancy test that you have to take before you get the Paragard so you can make sure that you're not pregnant before you get it, right, of course. Um, so that wasn't ordered ahead of time, so therefore I didn't get it that day. So that was a mix up from the provider. So I was already ready to go, didn't get it. So then I go back the next week for my next appointment, and this is when I'm getting it. So just to give you guys just a little brief story on like that experience, we'll go into that first. So I had Googled online, people were saying, yeah, like take medicine before you go, it's super painful, or some people are like, oh yeah, I never felt anything. I was like, okay, sure, um, I have a high pain tolerance, maybe I'll be good. 
but I did take a leave 30 minutes prior and I was also on my cycle before I went which people were saying that would actually be a good thing because your cervix is going to be softer and it's going to be you know easier for placement of the Paragard and all this kind of stuff and so when I went in there and I saw my provider who was a female thankfully I was like so I just want to let you know I am on my period she was like oh yeah great we actually like that so I felt better about that and we got started you know with the insertion process so you know I'm laying back she's you know down there in my V area and there's actually a student and I told the student she wanted to make sure it was okay I was like yeah you know I actually don't have a problem I remember what it was like being a nursing student I'm actually an MP student look we got to get our hours in where we can sis and you being in here frankly doesn't bother me <laughs> and I remember when she was trying to insert the pair or the pain I experienced was out of this world now granted I've never had children so I cannot compare it to that pain but I can let you know that it hurts so bad I literally about fell off the exam table to the point where my provider had to look up and over my legs and ask me honey are you okay do we need to stop and I told her, no, I'm okay. I had to take a deep breath. And she was like, okay, so we're gonna try it one more time. And if I can't get it, then, you know, we're just gonna stop and you'll have to come back. <sighs> so she tried the insertion process again and she was able to get it. She was like, yeah, your cervix is weird. It's like off to the side a little bit. I'm like, yeah, great, thanks. I don't need to hear that right now. But it was after she actually got it inserted, I literally felt a hot flash, a heat wave. My mouth got dry. And I thought I was going to pass out. It was so painful. And that is not to discourage you if you are wanting a pair guard or any type of IUD. Everybody's insertion process is different, but it was so painful. And I remember texting my best friend. I was like, hey, yeah, so I got this. It was so painful. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, help me, God, please. So yeah, so that was in November of last year. That's why we're coming up on. So that's why we're in like my year journey. So after that, yeah, everything was fine. I remember at one point being able to pretty much always predict my periods. I had been on the oral contraceptives for so long. And you go from having your body with all these hormones all the time to boom, bam, boom, done, no more hormones. And your body is looking at you like, sis, what have you done to me? What have you done to me? What's going on? So my body literally like freaked out. We're talking about acne. Acne in places I had never had acne. I'm talking about forehead, cheeks, chin, chest, back. Like what? Like I literally have the acne scars that I'm still trying to get rid of that I'm using you know, soaps and things to lighten up the acne scars from the severe acne breakouts that I had from this transition period. Not only that, y'all, my period freaked the freak out, literally. So not only did they go, so they started being irregular. And when I say irregular, they went to the point where I was literally bleeding like almost all the time. Like at one point, I literally was bleeding one whole month into the next month, like a continual period. Like my uterine lining was constantly shedding. And I was, I had to talk to my provider. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. Like one month where I literally had not a period at all which caused me to freak out. So then I had to talk to my provider and I was like, ma'am, look, um, I went from having a bunch of irregular periods where I'm constantly bleeding all the time to now, boom, bam, no period. And so she was like, well, yes, that's your uterine lining. It's shedding. You once had overloaded your body with hormones. I was like, ma'am, I got all this. I understand it's at least a six month adjustment process. I completely understand that. But it was already at the six month mark where my body should have adjusted where I was still having irregular periods extreme cramps just I'm talking about cramps where I literally had to stop grab a wall grab a neck grab a shoulder <laughs> like they were extreme so that one month where I didn't have a period I was like oh my god am I with a child 
So I went, I see my provider, I had the serum HCG just because it would be, you know, more quantitative and all of this and blah, blah, blah. Okay, no child. Just the whole process of my body trying to regulate to this new situation that it was thrown into was almost tragic, literally. So now fast forward, a year is complete, and I can say that we're happy together. We're so happy now. And I can say that I like the fact that I literally don't have to think about taking a pill. And you have to understand that with the IUD, even though you're not remembering to take a pill, you do have to remember to do the string checks. Now, let me tell you what happened to me with that. So I was doing the string checks, and then all of a sudden, I couldn't feel the string. So I'm like, what is going on with me and this freaking thing? So then I saw my provider again. This woman was probably like, look, I'm tired of seeing you about this IUD. So when you get your IUD placed, it has to shift and adjust and get itself situated in your cervix, right? So after mine had shifted and adjusted and I was doing my string checks, it was still feeling like a little bit uncomfortable. So the strings are kind of hard a little bit at first until they kind of soften up a little bit. So my provider actually cut my strings when I had them inserted. And then after it shifted and adjusted, I was still able to fill them a little bit. So they were still a little bit too long. So at one of my appointments, she cut them again, but doing its shifting and adjustment process that actually caused me to then no longer be able to feel my strings. So then during that process where I was freaking out because I had no period, I then had to have not only a ultrasound, but a transvaginal ultrasound. So you talking about just people exploring me down in the V section, just super uncomfortable. So they had to make sure that the IUD was in place because they couldn't feel the string. So then they were checking to make sure that I also wasn't pregnant and then just so much stuff. So you guys are probably listening like, sis, your journey has been, like you need an Oscar for this IUD journey. So now, because my IUD is successfully in place, it has been verified by various ultrasounds and manual palpation basically. I am no longer able to do a physical string check because I would not be able to fill my strings. So now in order for me to have my strings checked, I have to actually physically go to my provider. So that kind of makes it a little awkward and a little bit different for me as far as my IUD experience. Um, and that could be the same for others out there. If you're watching, you can let me know in the comment section. So that's the only thing I have to keep in mind, that I'm no longer able to do a self-string check. But if you have an IUD or you're thinking about getting one, you do need to be doing a self-string check. I would say, honestly, the benefits, I enjoy not having to think about the pill. I enjoy being on something that's non-hormonal and having no extra added hormones in my body. I enjoy the fact that this is something that can be placed and basically forgotten about, honestly. And it can last the copper version, at least the Paragard, for up to 10 years without having to be removed unless you're wanting to start a family, of course. But other than that, my whole year journey has been highs and lows, but we've kind of gotten to where we're settled and we are on a straight path and we're good. Has it changed my periods? Yes, they are a little bit longer and heavier, but that's what the non-hormonal version of the IUD will do. It will make your periods heavier. It will make your cramps a little bit worse. Um, now you can get the Mirena and the other versions that have hormones in them and they will actually um, shorten your periods and some women have even not had periods at all. So it just depends on which IUD version you want to get as to you know what effects you're looking for and what it will do to your body and to your periods. So yeah, I just wanted to share this very interesting journey with you guys that I have not talked about um, 
honestly at all except for one time on my channel and I think it's very important for women to talk about contraceptive options you guys know there's a lot of options out there and you need to choose what is best for you and don't be afraid to talk to your provider about contraceptive options you need to be making smart choices for yourself and that's basically what I want to talk to you guys about. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Give me your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel on your way out. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.